or the tape, or the CD, or the MP3 player, or any other known recording device. Whatever recordings he made, and he did make them, have been lost or not yet found. And still, many Americans believe they know the sound of Mark Twain's voice. There are only a few herky-jerky, scratchy, black-and-white seconds of Mark Twain on film, captured by Edison cameras at the last resident Stormfield, which you just toured in the previous session. And yet, we have a sense of how Mark Twain looked and moved in living color. We believe we know how Mark Twain walked and talked because Hal Holbrook gave him a best guest voice along with an approximation of his shuffling gait and lecture platform mannerisms. He put together his remarkable one-man show, Mark Twain Tonight, when many people who knew Twain including his daughter Clara, Secretary Isabel Lyon, Angelfish Dorothy Quick, and James Bim Pond, son of the lecture manager, were still alive and eager to offer guidance. And Hal Holbrook.